All right, maybe you've seen them in bookstores or a friend of yours hunched over them with a set of colored pencils or markers nearby. They are coloring books meant for adults and they're growing in popularity and some say these books can be actually beneficial to your health. Today in the 4x4, we are taking four minutes during the four to look at the trend of adult coloring. One of the most popular creators of these adult coloring books right now is Joanna Basford. She is an ink artist who started in commercial work, then started developing a coloring book. Yeah, and her latest one is titled Lost Ocean, but for some perspective on how big a trend this is, her latest coloring book called Secret Garden has already sold 8 million copies worldwide. Here's what she had to say when I spoke to her yesterday about the growing popularity of these coloring books for adults. So I guess my first question is here is, can you try to convince me on why I should go grab one of the coloring books and dive right into it? Well, we all live in such a busy 24-7 digital world at the moment and we're kind of screen weary. You know, it's, it's rare to get a digital detox and that's what these colouring books offer you. It's the chance to unplug, to not be distracted by email or Twitter or social media and to just really focus on one task at hand, you know, and that's colouring in. And you can just lose yourself in this world for, you know, a few minutes, a few hours and really focus on creating something beautiful and it's analogue, you know, it's, it's a really fair opportunity to, to unplug totally and to focus and to let everything else just melt away. So can you take me back to the beginning? Was it something like you were just sitting there drawing, tapping into your inner child and then all of a sudden you had the idea, wow, I could take this around the world? Well, kind of, I guess. So I was working as a commercial illustrator, creating artwork for loads of big brands to use on our packaging and our website and our marketing materials. And I was approached by a publisher to do a children's coloring book. And I said, I'd love to do a colouring book, you know, with my own style of hand-drawn black and white artwork. But I want to do one for adults. I want to do one for grown-ups. And they were a bit quiet. This was in 2011 before the big trend sort of kicked off. Um, so I drew up the first five pages and I sent it over. I said, look, it's going to be like the same quality of images as I put on champagne bottles and perfume packaging. And it's going to be for adults and super intricate and elaborate and detailed and elegant and something that people are going to love to colour in and create their own works of art. With. So is your target audience, would you say, someone who works in a stressful environment or is it really for all adults out there? I think the reason perhaps the books um, um, speak to so many people is because we don't have a target market. You know, I think that everybody has a creative spark within them and you just need the right situation and encouragement to let that flourish. And the colouring books, um, they, they're the perfect situation because the outlines are all there. It's not as scary or as daunting as a blank sheet of paper or an oil painting class. You can just get your book and some pens or pencils and dive in and be creative and let that side of you flourish. You know, you don't see kids racked by self-doubt when they're coloring in or drawing. They just get stuck in with energy and enthusiasm. And I think that's why the books, you know, like they speak to so many people because we all have that within us. We just need to, to nurture it. All right, we're going to talk about the health benefits of adult coloring and why it can be so good for you. We are joined now with Jacob Kamiker. He is a licensed psychologist in private practice, also a professor over at John F. Kennedy University and the director of its Expressive Art Therapy Program. Jacob, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So when I hear adult coloring, Jacob, I can understand that it could be relaxing and calming, but actual health benefits, what health benefits does it have? Well, yeah, it, it certainly can be relaxing. It can, uh, people seem to report that it helps with stress relief, uh, calming and centering, and um, it, you could say that it uh, accesses our inner child or helps with playfulness. And of course, uh, coloring is no substitute for, for psychotherapy with a licensed mental health professional, uh, especially if there's real psychological distress. And um, personally, my, approach is, uh, at least when it comes to the arts, is with expressive arts therapy, which is a bit more freeform, and it uh, allows for access to uh, looking at the, the inner life and, and emotions. Uh, so coloring would certainly be more contained, and while there's uh, some creativity that would come from choosing colors and relationships between colors and, and laying down the medium on the page, um, there would be certainly less of the benefits of, uh, of creativity that you might get from a personal art practice, which might include something along the lines of um, uh, 
emotional awareness, emotional regulation, um, some sort of insight orientation. So um, I also read that it can help train your brain to focus, help find your motor skills, vision, reduces stress and anxiety. Um, and apparently psychologists or psychiatrists have been prescribing this to their patients for a hundred years. Is this just for someone who is seeking therapy or might have mental health issues or can all of us benefit from coloring? Well, we can look at it as a coping skill, and um, you can say that uh, Carl Jung was the first one to uh, bring the arts into a psychotherapy practice, and he would be the, uh, the uh, uh, direct student of, of Sigmund Freud. And uh, so the arts have been involved in psychotherapy, uh, and, and also that was a much more exploratory or explorative uh, approach to the arts. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, we, we could look at it as a, as a coping skill, which cer would certainly be a lot more beneficial than, uh, say, uh, relying on some addictive habits or something like this. So uh, uh, it can help with, uh, with downtime and with, uh, can be a nice ritual when at the end of the day. <laughs> so some therapists would prescribe this along with other treatment? Sure, yeah. To be in addition to? Yeah, coping skills are often, and b building positive coping skills are often a, a part of therapy. And especially for somebody who might uh, look at a blank page that you might be looking to create some, some art on mm -hmm. and, and find that intimidating and not know where to start, it could be a nice intro to an arts practice or, or a creative therapy. So it sounds like all of us, even maybe our older parents, our grandparents could benefit from just sitting down and being able to focus on that blank page and making it into something. Yeah, I think we can all benefit from being more creative in our lives.